thing that is going on in a group of friends, this is the border of marriage. It is going on in a, in a, friends, in a, in a group of give it down. Hallelujah. They are afraid of the warfare prayer because they know we don't entertain here. We are not an entertainer. It is a place where people entertain, they paint their story, and they just do and do and do. They, they turn the world. They just, people are smiling. That is what everybody wants to hear. Nobody wants to hear the truth. But when they see where the truth is being preached, everybody, that place becomes a target. Hallelujah. Receive strength now. Receive strength to grow. Receive strength to grow. Receive strength to grow. In the name of Jesus, receive strength to finish that which you have started. The Lord said your hand has already laid the foundation and your hands will finish it. And your hands will finish it finish it. You will finish it. You will finish it in the name of Jesus. That dream is coming to manifestation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord said you are remembered. My labor shantalakata. Does it seem as if you have been forgotten? The Lord said from today, labor shantalakata. In color God doesn't deliver. And I see favor. And I see favor. La basun telebo. You have been remembered for good. You have been remembered for good in the name of Jesus. And I see someone you are planning to start a business. I ask your hands. Oh boy. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles and great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shallow womb to the brothers that are, the, the what the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. This is just wow. Oh boy, you can't make this up, man. You know this is just a total impromptu here. So let's go. Wow, unbelievable. Speaking in tongues, right? <laughs> Should have bought a Honda, but I bought a Hyundai. <laughs> Oh, man, these women are out of control. They are out of control. Okay? All these scriptures. And you, and you, 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 you oh, boy. First Timothy. Let's see. Again, this is just impromptu. It's going to be quick. Just a couple of scriptures. That's all that's, that's all that's needed. Okay? Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, wherever he leads me. Okay? So let's read this. Oh boy. Let's go to Salakia for the uh brief pauses here. All right. First Timothy 2 and verse 5. For there is one power and one mediator between the power and men. Okay, and that would be Yahawashai, one mediator, right? The man, Hamashiach, Yahawashai, okay? Let's keep going, because this lesson's been done over and over and over again, but, you know, whatever. All right, verse 6, This it has to be, it, it, I'm dumbfounded. Wow, who gave himself a ransom for all, for all who? All Israel, uh, well, for the elect, all right, to be testified in due time. Verse 7, whereunto I am ordained a preacher and apostle. See that? A preacher and apostle. None of them are uh, none of them are women. I speak the truth in Hamashiach and, and lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and, and, and uh verdi. Okay? Salakia, if I got that wrong. Verse 8. I will therefore. That men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands. See that? All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Without wrath and uh and, and doubting. Okay? Verse 9. In like manner also, the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or, or pearls or costly array. 
Okay? Wow. Should have bought a Honda, but I bought a Hyundai, right? Come on, man. Verse 10. But which becometh professing godliness with good works, not preaching. Let's just keep reading. Okay? Let's just keep reading. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man, but to be in silence. Okay? But to what be in silence? Jesus is not his name. Okay? Just pure confusion. Oh boy. Verse 12 again. But I suffer not for woman to teach nor exert authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in what? Childbearing. Okay? If they continue in the faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. All right? Stop it. Eve, stop it. If she is an Eve, she, you know, she, you never know. You can't judge according to appearance, you know, but she did have that Hamite accent. Okay. Yep. You know, let's see. Let's go here. So like, yeah, I got interrupted. All right. First Corinthians 14 and verse 31. Again, this lesson has been done, but it's going to be done again. All right. Our, our women, our women need to hear this, man. They need to hear this. This is ridiculous. First Corinthians 14, verse 31. For ye may all prophesy one by one. He All who? Men. One by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. Okay? All right? Verse 32. And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Verse 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of the saints. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto her to speak. Oh boy. Let's read that from the top again. Verse 34. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for a woman to speak in a church. You see that? <sighs> Verse 36. What came the word of the Most High out from you? Or, uh, or uh, came it unto you only? Verse 37. If any man think him, if any what? If any man think himself to be a prophet, or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. You know, forbid not to speak with tongues. And tongues is different languages. You know, not what I don't know. I don't know. I, boy, I, oh boy, <laughs> uh, I'm at a loss for words. All right. Let all things be done decently and in order. Okay. Should have bought a Honda, but I bought a Hyundai. Should have bought a, bought a, you know, come on, man. Really? Seriously? Let all things be done decently and in order. So let's get the order. Okay. OK, let's get the order and I'll just close out there. Just, uh, that's all. Just a, a quick lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that popped up on my feed there. And I said, let's go to it and see what this is. Oh, boy. <laughs> First Corinthians 11, verse three. But I will have, you know, let's go back. All right. Verse one. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach Yahshai. See, now I praise you, brethren. That ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them unto you. Like what? Let your woman keep silence in the churches. It is not permitted unto you to speak. You are not a teacher. Okay? 
You're supposed to teach the young men and women to be sober, you know, oh, boy. to love their husbands, right? Verse four, every man praying or prophesying, every what? Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, uh, dishonoreth her head. For that is even as all one is uh, she were shaven, bald headed. OK. Let's see, where was I? Where was I wanting to go here? Salakia. Yeah. OK. Salakia, I totally skipped over it. Don't know why. But we're going to go back. How about it? All right. Verse three. And I'll close out here. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahawashai. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach Yahawashai is Yahweh. Simple and plain. Very quick hitter. Unbelievable. We see it over and over and over again. The queen of heaven spirit. You know, all these people claim to know the scriptures. But it's, you know, to them, it's just it's a feeling. Okay, it's a feeling. And really that what they're doing is praying uh, to idols, man. OK, they, they have a feeling, but you see, you skip over, you skip over uh, the, the ordinances. It's, it's unbelievable. That's why, I just you know, I'm done with this lesson. I want to say why a Bible ball. I'm disgusted. Boom. Shalom. Two.